protect the last remaining mountain gorillas. The mountain gorillas are part of this earth, and if they disappear, it will call, cause a chain reaction. The world will never be the same. The gorillas may be dangerous, but a lot of the time it's a show, a display. They will puff out their lips, push their arms together, beat their hands on their chest, and eat grass. The mountain gorillas only have one enemy, mankind, poachers. We need to protect the gorillas from our own species. The average lifespan of an amazing mountain gorilla is 35 years old. What right does anyone have to shorten it? Mountain gorillas are only found in Rwanda, Africa. No zoo around the world contains one. Rwanda is a seventh the size of the state of Nebraska, but is populated by 10 million people. The mountain gorillas live about 6 to 14,000 feet up in the mountains. The nickname for a male mountain gorilla is silverback because at the age of 11 to 13, their back hair will turn silver. While a mother is pregnant, she will carry her baby for eight and a half months, but she cannot leave her child for another three years after delivery. 40% of babies do not make it through their first year due to fallen trees, bites, and males who want to start their own tribes will kill the infants, which 95% of males will go with him to reproduce. If the mother is killed, 99% of the babies before the age of three will die. Another harm to young infants are snares, a rope hidden small hole to trap them. They will twist and scream as an attempt to get out, but the snares get tighter against their struggle around the cut arm or leg of the poor baby. The poachers, after murdering the gorilla, will cut off their hands and head as a trophy for their horrid deed. They will sometimes use the hands as ashtrays. Humans share 98 to 99% of genetics with the gorillas. They are curious like us, can catch a disease from us, and even have unique noses like our fingerprints. Luckily, there are people helping, like the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund. Diane Fossey was a fantastic woman who devoted her life to the mountain gorillas and even died for them. On December 26, 1985, she was decapitated in her cottage by poachers for her beliefs. But since then, her anti-poaching efforts have been successful. Diane Fossey has helped, but it's not enough. We need more people to be able to help and protect more gorillas. There are only 720 mountain gorillas left versus the 10 million people on a seventh the size of the state of Nebraska. They are intelligent and have 25 different ways to communicate. They sleep in a nest that they must rebuild each night because they are always on the move to find food. They must eat 45 to 50 pounds of vegetation a day. And they love nettles, tree bark, and ants. The mountain gorillas are beautiful creatures who need our protection.